So, you're ready to start an LLC in Pennsylvania, but don't know where to begin. I'm here to walk you through the entire process, covering the essential steps and other important information you need to know to set up your Pennsylvania LLC. And guess what? It can be done in just a few minutes. Plus, I'll share some helpful tips to help you avoid common mistakes and unnecessary fees. So by the end of this video, you'll see how simple it can be. Now, let me tell you, an LLC is basically a super cool way to protect your personal stuff from business risks. It's like having a shield for your house and car if something goes wrong with your company. And get this, you might even save some cash on taxes. Trust me, it's a win-win situation. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. Isn't starting an LLC super complicated? Well, that's what a lot of people think, but it's actually not that bad. I'm going to break it down for you step by step so you will see it's totally doable. So stick around because I'm about to show you how to set up your Pennsylvania LLC without all the stress and confusion. You guys are going to be amazed at how easy this can be. Laying the foundation, naming your LLC and appointing a registered agent. All right, let's get started with the fun part, naming your Pennsylvania LLC. This is where you get to be creative, but there are a few rules you need to follow. First things first, your LLC name has to include the words limited liability company or LLC at the end. It's like a name tag for your business that tells everyone what kind of company you are. Now, here's something important to remember. You can't use words that make people think you're a government agency or that you need special licenses. So no using words like bank or insurance, unless you actually are those things. It's all about being honest with your name, you know? Now, before you get too excited about your awesome name idea, we need to make sure it's available. Pennsylvania has this cool tool on their Department of State website where you can search for business names. Trust me, you want to use this. It's super easy. Just type in your name and hit search. If it's already taken, don't worry. This is why I always tell people to come up with a few different name options. It's like having a backup plan for your backup plan. Oh, and here's a pro tip. If you find the perfect name but aren't quite ready to start your LLC, you can actually reserve it for up to 120 days. It costs $70, but it might be worth it if you're really set on a specific name. Now, let's talk about something that sounds boring, but is actually super important, your registered agents. In Pennsylvania, they call it a registered office, but it's the same thing. This is basically the person or company that gets all the official stuff for your LLC, legal documents, tax forms, that kind of thing. Now, you might be thinking, can't I just do this myself? And yes, you can, but here is the thing. Your registered agent needs to have a physical address in Pennsylvania and be available during regular business hours. If you're always on the go or work weird hours, this might not be the best option for you. The good news is that there are companies out there that can be your registered agent for a fee. They handle all the paperwork and make sure you don't miss anything important. It's like having a personal assistant, but for your LLC. Plus, it keeps your personal address off public records, which is really nice for privacy. Now, one thing to keep in mind is if you decide to use one of these companies, make sure you have a proper agreement with them. Pennsylvania calls them Commercial Registered Office Providers, CROP, and you need to have a contract with them. If you don't, you could end up with some nasty penalties, and that's not fun. So, we've covered picking a name and choosing a registered agent. These might seem like small steps, but they're super important for setting up your LLC right. It's like laying the foundation for a house. If you do it right, everything else will be so much easier. Making it official, filing articles of organization, and creating an operating agreement. Okay, it's time to make things official. We're talking about filing your articles of organization. This is a document that basically tells Pennsylvania, hey, I'm starting an LLC. It's like the birth certificate, but of your business. So what do you need to include in these articles? Well, it's pretty straightforward. First, you'll need your LLC's name, the one we just picked out, your registered office address, and the names of the organizers. That's you or whoever's setting up the LLC. See? Not so scary, right? 
Now, here is where you need to pay attention. There is a $125 fee to file these articles. I know, I know, it seems like a lot, but think of it as an investment in your business's future. You've got two options for filing, online or by mail. Personally, I'd go with online because it's faster and you don't have to worry about your paperwork getting lost in the mail. But here's a pro tip. Double check everything before you hit submit. Make sure all your info is correct. You don't want to have to file again because you mistyped your address or something. That's just wasting time and money. Now, once you file your articles, you might think you're done. But hold up, there's one more super important document you need, an operating agreement. Now, Pennsylvania doesn't legally require this, but trust me, you want one. Think of an operating agreement like a rule book for your LLC. It lays out how your business is going to run, who is responsible for what, and how you'll handle big decisions. It's like a roadmap for your business's future. So what should you include in this agreement? Well, you'll want to put in your LLC's name and address. Easy enough, right? How much each member is contributing to the business, how you will split profits and losses, and how you'll manage the company. Oh, and don't forget to include rules for adding or removing members. You never know what might happen down the road. And here why this is so important. Without an operating agreement, if something goes wrong or there's a disagreement, Pennsylvania law decides how to handle it. And let me tell you, that might not work out in your favor. It's way better to have your own rules in place. Plus, having a solid operating agreement helps maintain your LLC's limited liability status. That's the whole reason you're setting up an LLC in the first place, right? To protect your personal assets. So don't skip this step. Now, you're probably thinking, this sounds like a lot of legal stuff. Do I need a lawyer for this? Well, you can definitely write an operating agreement on your own. There are templates online that can help. But if your business is complex or you're not sure about something, it might be worth talking to a professional. Better safe than sorry, right? Securing your LLC's identity, EIN, compliance, and beyond. All right, so we got our LLC set up on paper, but there is still some important stuff we need to take care of. Let's talk about securing your LLC's identity and making sure you're all set up for success. First up, we need to get your EIN. That stands for Employer Identification Number, and it's basically like a social security number, but for your business. Now you might be thinking, do I really need this? Well, if your LLC has more than one member, or if you're planning to hire employees, then yes, you definitely do. But even if you're flying solo, an EIN is super helpful for opening a business account and building credibility with lenders. Now, here's the best part. Getting an EIN is totally free and you can do it online through the IRS website. It's available Monday through Friday from 7 a.m. to 10 p.m. Eastern time. You just fill out a form and boom, you get your EIN right away. No waiting around, no fees, just instant business identity. Once you've got your EIN, it's time to open a business bank account. This is really important, guys, because you want to keep your personal and business finances separate. Why? Well, it's all about protecting your personal assets. If you mix your personal and business money, you could lose that liability protection we talked about earlier. It's like building a wall between your personal stuff and your business stuff. You want to keep that wall nice and strong. So go to a bank, show them your EIN and your LLC paperwork and set up that account. It's pretty straightforward and it'll make your life so much easier when it comes to tracking expenses and doing your taxes. Now, let's talk about staying compliant. In Pennsylvania, you need to file an annual report every year. It's due on September 30th and there is a $70 filing fee. I know, another fee, but think of it this way. It's way cheaper than the headaches you will get if you forget to file and lose your good standing status. Set a reminder on your phone or mark it on your calendar. It's one of those things that's easy to forget, but super important to remember. Keeping up with this stuff is what separates the successful businesses from the ones that struggle. And here's something a lot of people don't think about, local licenses and permits. Depending on what kind of business you're running and where you're located, you might need some additional paperwork. It could be a general business license, a zoning permit, 
or something specific to your industry. The tricky part is these requirements can vary a lot from one place to another. So you'll want to check with your local government offices to see what you need. It might seem like a hassle, but trust me, it's way better to take care of this stuff up front than to get hit with fines later on. You know, when I first started my business, I thought all this paperwork and compliance stuff was going to be a nightmare. But honestly, once you get it set up, it's not that bad. It's just about staying organized and on top of things. Your Pennsylvania LLC success. Next steps and final thoughts. So we've covered everything here. Starting an LLC in Pennsylvania might seem like a big task, but it's totally manageable when you break it down step by step. Remember, this is your chance to protect your personal assets and set yourself up for success. Pennsylvania is actually a great place to start a business. You've got a strong economy and relatively low costs. There's a recipe for opportunity right there. Now, I know we've gone through a lot of steps and details, and it can feel a bit overwhelming, right? That's where professional services come in handy. They can handle all the paperwork and make sure everything's filed correctly. It's like having an expert in your corner, making sure you don't miss anything important. Now, here's the thing. I've personally used Zen Business for my LLC formation, and let me tell you, it made things so much easier. They took care of all the complicated stuff so I could focus on actually running my business. Plus, they're really affordable compared to some other services out there. So check them out using my link in the description of this video and start your LLC today. So good luck with your LLC. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section and I'll catch you soon.